Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. I am doing a Ulta haul. I went to Ulta because I needed one thing. <laughs> and then I walked out with a few things and I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's gonna be a rather small haul and I'm also gonna be trying on one of the products because I cannot wait to try it. I have been eyeing that product for quite some time and I have to thank my sister for telling me about this. Eventually I probably would have seen it on a video or somehow on QVC because um, that's where she saw the product and I finally got it at my local Ulta. So I'm super excited about that. So we're digging into this bag, you guys. <laughs> so like I said, I went there specifically for one thing and I did have a 20% off coupon and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna allow myself to kind of venture through the other aisles because I really only needed one thing, which I will show you. Actually, two things, now that I'm looking at my bag. <laughs> so the first thing that I got that I needed was the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I ran out of my other one, and you will see that in an upcoming empties video, and I decided to go and pick up another one of the Divine Dark. This one has a tint to it, so it works if you have darker hair. I have red tones in my hair, so it's very obvious when I use regular dry shampoo and I go overboard because I tend to do that with pretty much everything. <laughs> and you can see it in my hair. And the contrast between the red and the white kind of powdery cast from regular dry shampoos is not cute. And I have to definitely brush it out. So I've been using the tinted ones. And I also have the Chlorine, I believe that's how you pronounce it, the Dark Tones, which I am almost out of. That bottle or that can has less than this. And it's more expensive. That one was $20 and this is like, I don't know, with my 20% off discount, I think it was like $7. So this one's been really good. And as far as like the ingredients, it uses rice starch as, I assume, the ingredient to absorb the oil, whereas some of the other ones have aluminum starch. And so, I don't know, that sounds a little bit questionable. So I thought, let me just stick with the rice starch and see. I really like that one. It's been working well for me. The next thing that I picked up was the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Milk. I ran out of my Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, and I've shown that before, and you'll see the empty packaging in an empties video soon. And I thought, let me try. So I asked the gal how good this is because I've never tried the cleansing milk. And you get 6.7 ounces of product in this bottle for, I want to say right around the same price point. I don't think that there's much of a difference as far as... Um, the price of this and the actual cleansing balm. But the cleansing balm itself, you don't get quite an, a lot of product. I love that stuff, it melts everything right off and I've used like, I've gone through four or five of those little round tubs. But it doesn't last very long and thankfully for me, I don't wear makeup every single day where I need to be using that. So I can make it work and make it last a little longer. So I thought, let me give the cleansing milk a go. I've used this already because obviously I've worn makeup and I'm. I've used quite a bit. I used probably about five to six pumps. If I'm using like today, since I have a lot of makeup on, I will do about six pumps to get everything off. But if I'm just using like a little bit of minerals or my tinted SPF, I'll do maybe two or three pumps and that's sufficient to remove everything. So we'll be reporting back on this, but so far it seems to be good. It is quite moisturizing and it says on the back that it's ideal for drier skin types. So we'll see how that works. Hopefully, I, I mean, I don't think this will make me break out because I haven't had any any problems at all with the cleansing balm. And I actually love that product very much. So we'll see if I'm going to stick with this. But so far, it's been working. Now, Maybelline had a sale, buy two, get one free. And I went there to just kind of peruse the drugstore aisles and see what's new. And I also wanted to see what was there for some nude lipsticks. I use the same ones all the time. I've been using my Anastasia Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick. It's a matte finish. I love it. It's actually sitting on my vanity right now, and I wanted to use it today, but I thought, you know what? I need to get something new. So I decided to look at Maybelline because they had the sale that buy two, get one free. So I picked up the uh, Maybelline Matte Lipstick in the shade called Peach Buff, and I'm using that with a lip liner today. And it is very creamy, and this one has a subtle peachy undertone, which the name suggests, so it's not your fleshy tone nudes, which I don't think that, that works very well with my fair skin. I have to use something with a little bit of color, a little bit of a peachy undertone, a little bit of a deeper undertone, maybe even like a pink that's not like super pink, but still kind of nude and neutral. And this one seems to fit the bill, but um, if your lips are 
like my lips are a little bit on the dry side, I need to use my lip scrub. It doesn't look so great. It's, it's a hot mess situation on the lips, but um, it's a pretty color. It is very, very creamy, very smooth. So I like the creaminess, but the matte finish as well, which is nice because most matte lips tend to be quite drying and some matte lipsticks tend to have like that hardness to it. So when you're putting it on, it's almost like it pulls and tugs at your lips. This is very creamy. So I'm going to definitely situate the chap lips and then I'm going to definitely give that another go. So the other two products I got was the Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner. This is in the shade Black is Black. I used to use this a long time ago and it's been several months, if not maybe even up to a year since I've used this. And I thought, let me let me give it a go because I'm using liquid liner all the time and I thought, let's just go for it. And I've used this before and it works well. It's probably one of the best gel liners that I've used. And I also got the Maybelline Master Precise Curvy Liquid Liner. It comes in a little packaging like this. I have no idea if this is any good. It was, you know, buy two, get one free. I figured, why not? They're all around the same price point, so this could have been my free product. I got it in the black shade. And if you've tried this liner, is it good? Is it, I'm hoping that it dries to a nice satiny finish, but something's telling me that this is going to dry to sort of like a glossy finish. I don't know. I have a feeling that that's how it's going to be, but... I could be wrong, so let me know in the comments if you use it, if it's good, if it's worth it. I picked up some lashes. These are the new Faux Mink Lashes from Ardell with the Invisiband in the style or number 812. And they look so pretty, you guys. You guys can see. There you go. They look so pretty and just fluffy and fluttery. It looks like they're going to be really easy to apply because it has that clear band, which is how I like to use lashes. And I'm going to be using these um, soon in a video, but these are fairly new. I think there's like two or three styles total that I saw at my local Ulta. And this is the style 8, or the number 812. So those look really, really pretty and kind of full. So, my last two products. I picked up a blush, the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Airbrushing Blush. <laughs> And it's talc-free, it has an SPF 30, it's 16-hour airbrushing finish, smoothing, firming, lifting effect. So, you know, all those claims, you know, I gotta try it. It's in the shade Natural, which is what I'm wearing today. And it's a nice kind of rosy color. I've been using mostly bronzer lately, and I thought, eh, I got 20% off, why not? And it's pretty, it's got a cute little packaging, bright blue. And, of course, it has your applicator at the bottom, as with most Physician Formula products. It's a really pretty color. The finish is mostly matte, but it's like a satiny matte color in a way. It's not so drying and it doesn't feel chalky. It's very smooth and yeah, it feels very smooth and kind of creamy, but it goes on matte. And I like that there's no fragrance to this. I'm pretty sure there's no fragrance. It doesn't smell like anything. For extra sensitive and breakout prone skin. So that's great because I... Since I've gotten my skin in a good place, I'm not breaking out nowhere near as much as I was before, thank goodness. And I'm kind of skeptical about trying a lot of things, so when I find something that works, I like to stick with it, especially like foundations today. I'm using my Clinique Even Better, which I haven't used in a few months, and I'm just reminded how well it works and how good it makes my skin look. And the minerals, like I cannot stop with the bare minerals, and I know I use it all the time, but truly, since I've been using the minerals, I have noticed like less breakouts and my skin is clear my pores are not blocked I mean it's just it's really good so I figured I'm gonna try if I'm gonna get a new blush to try something new and sort of use new products in my videos I figured let me try something that's a little bit on the safe side so I think this is gonna be it but we'll see and then ah, the next product is the Laura Geller baked gelato illuminator and this is in the shade Diamond Dust. This is what my sister was telling me about. That she saw it on QVC and they were doing a presentation of this with the brush for $26, which is what this costs you on its own. And I thought that was a great deal, but it was on wait list and I was like, darn it. <laughs> Thanks for telling me so late. So I haven't checked to see if QVC has it back. I'm sure that they do. It's in a powder form and then they also have it in a cream. And this is supposed to be like that unicorn look to it. So I don't know. And hmm, some difficulties with this packaging. But it's in the shade Diamond Dust, and it looks, from a distance, it looks like it's white, like it's, you know, a typical highlighter. But when you get close, I'm not sure if my camera's going to pick this up or not, but you will see 
a bit of a duochrome type of goodness coming from this. Oh yeah. Oh, this is, oh, this is pretty. You see that? That's pretty. It's definitely going to be a pinky highlight, so it's not going to be more kind of, I hate to say natural, because sometimes highlights can go overboard, and if you're heavy-handed like I am, it doesn't look natural. But I'm excited about that because the duochrome sort of unicorn highlight has been a thing that people are doing on Instagram. It looks so pretty, and I thought, this might be a safer bet for me to try because I'm not about to use no rainbow highlighters. So let me get my highlighting brush. Let's see, what brush am I going to use today? I'm going to go in with the Morphe M501 brush. I'm not sure if this is going to be the best brush for this. Oh, it does pick up quite a bit, though. Let me get my mirror. Okay, so let's do it. This is pretty. So it's going to be kind of soft with this brush, but I'm, I would assume that the cream version is going to be, do you see that? The cream version will be much more intense than this. And of course, I feel like I was, oh, did I put too much on? I feel like I was missing something on my face today because I didn't do any highlight because I knew I was going to do this video. That's pretty. I think you guys are going to be able to see that sort of glow. It looks kind of pink and then, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that is actually really pretty. I think I may have put a little too much on, but it looks, it looks nice. And I'll definitely be using that in upcoming tutorials. It is very pigmented and it shows up really well. And this is, it says on the box, it's the 20th anniversary edition of our fan favorite highlighter. If you want to try this out, I assume because of the limited edition or the anniversary edition that it's not going to be out forever. If you want to try something with a duochrome finish, this is going to be something that you might like. I also have, let me grab it, the... The NYX Illuminating Powder. Oh, my hair is a mess. Go get it together. The NYX uh, Duochromatic Illuminating Powder is quite similar to the Laura Geller. So it may be even another option for those of you who want to try the Laura Geller but don't want to pay 26 bucks. And I totally get it. But these are the two shades together. So this one here, the big one, is NYX. And then this is the Laura Geller. It's going to be more, I'm looking at it in the mirror, it's going to be more of like an icy pink, the NYX one. Versus the Laura Geller, it is like, bam in your face. It's pink. So, I don't know. I kind of like them both. But for me, I think I probably would use the NYX one more because it's a little bit lighter. Whereas this is like, it's pink. So this would be really pretty even as a blush topper. I don't know. Just a suggestion for you guys. And that is literally everything that I purchased at Ulta. Um, I have gotten a few other new things um, like my tinted SPF, the Elta MD. I'll show you the box. This is what the SPF looks like, um, or the box. And I have been loving this. I had a few samples of it, and I had to order the full size. This is really, really good stuff. It's an oil-free um, SPF that is for all skin types and post-procedures. So if you've had like chemical peels, laser treatments, and you've compromised your skin's barrier, you still need to, you have to use an SPF when you go out. Otherwise, you know, it's just going to be the reverse of what you just paid to have undone with treatments. And it's hyaluronic acid, it's UVA, UVB protection, transparent zinc oxide, it's a moisturizing physical sunscreen, SPF 44, and I have been using this every single day, and I am not a sunscreen person. I have been a sun worshiper since I was a little kid, and I am now almost 30 years old starting to use SPF, and I love this stuff. It makes my skin look really nice, and it's really, really good quality. Elta MD is a brand that you can get at a dermatologist's office or you can also order it on their website and that's what they're known for, SPF. So you're in good hands. If you're looking for an SPF, the Elta MD is a definite safe bet. And then of course, the other thing that I got was the Jaclyn Hill palette. You have seen this in one of my last tutorials. It's what I'm using today as well. Really love the way the look came out. So those are the two other things that I got that I'm just gonna sort of gonna shove into this haul video. So that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you are interested in that highlighter, let me know what your thoughts are. If you've tried it, if you love it, hate it. 
if you have any sort of recommendations for any sort of duochrome unicorn highlighters, let me know which ones are good to try. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending some of your day here with me today. Don't forget to subscribe and also thumbs up the video for more of these types of videos in the future. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. As always, it's down below, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye.